Human nature is a curious thing. It can make you very wary of the unknown, but it can also make you reach out and help a complete stranger who may not be all she seems. This is the breakdown scam. Jane has broken down, or rather, she's about to. By simply disconnecting a lead from the alternator of her car, it is, like her, completely powerless. How will the Mark react when Jane presents herself at his door? Hi, I've just broken down. I'm really late for an important meeting. I just wonder if you could get it up and have a look for me. Wow, you see, I don't, I don't actually know much about that sort of stuff. The Mark is a man. Even though he's just admitted he knows almost nothing about the workings of the internal combustion engine, he cannot admit he knows less than a woman. I'm sure you know the ins and outs a lot better than me. <laughs> you know, it just conked out. It didn't make a sound or anything like that. This is the cue for Kevin, who's been waiting to slip into the Mark's house. I'm on the other side of the street, in constant contact with Kevin, to make sure he's got enough time to complete the job and get out. Yeah, sure, I'm almost done. Meanwhile, outside the house, the Mark has spotted the disconnected lead and it looks like the problem could be solved. So much! Oh. Thanks to Jane's bouncy expression of gratitude, Kevin has time to make good his escape. The job is done. Have a great day. Okay. But when will the Mark realise the scam? Someone's just pissed on my furniture! So, the breakdown scam. One, the broken down car. Two, the girl with the tits. Three, the guy with the full bladder pissing on all the furniture. The lesson is simple. Always be wary of busty girls who break down outside your house. That way, no one can gain access to your lounge and piss on your furniture.